Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tanya's Tea Time. I'm Tanya. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Uh, we are going to be doing a reading for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs in Cancer for the month of January. This is a general reading, so it's not going to apply to everybody. And if it doesn't resonate, don't worry. Don't try to make it fit. Um, just look for your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. I might tell you something else that does, or um, just wait for the next one. So, Cancer, let's see. I'm going to pull a good tarot card, and I look at more of, like, the illustrations to kind of hone in on your energy a little bit more, okay? And then we'll go to tarot, and then we'll clarify, and, of course, stay with me until the end, because a lot does change. I don't normally take this many cards, but I feel like I need to. So I have the Ten of Water. That's, like, the Ten of Cups. It's a very good card. Um, but there's, like, this this Buddha here, like some of you actually might be into some Buddhist practices or some Zen practices. Some of you might actually have a connection. Some of you might be searching beyond a formal religion that you were born into uh, and searching into other practices and that are not your own, that are from another culture. Um, some of you might be very, very curious or some of you guys actually might be adopting something that is not normally practiced in your family. Two of Earth. She's like, she has two pentacles, one in each hand, and she's like perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced. It's almost like she doesn't have a care in the world, but it's very, um, and this is very spiritual. Very, very spiritual. It's like, there's like a glow around each one of those, like a halo. And there's like almost like um, a face here in the sun, almost like a godlike image. I'm seeing like the painting of um, that Michelangelo did. Um, nine of air. Again, she is very balanced too on top of this mountainous area with all these birds flying around her she's in perfect balance I there's like something to celebrate as well and I feel like some of you guys are actually finding what it means to you to be in balance or finding yourself your your self healing um and I feel like that's bringing a lot of balance into your life. And that's something to celebrate. Let's go to tarot and see what else is going on. There's some sort of spirituality, seeking something new, finding yourself, self-healing, and then something to celebrate. Or you're celebrating yourself. We'll see. I feel like there's definitely like a divine connection here weird i just did um a reading for aquarius and they got the same card out first it's working with organizations and groups um like i said some of you guys could be seeking um a different practice going to um different types of um like meetups and stuff for different cultural practices, different beliefs, different religions. You guys might be searching for something. You see like this, this man's like holding like almost like a light, you know, like he's like almost like searching for something in the dark. You guys got the two of pentacles here too. You too might mean something to somebody. You guys might be seeing synchronicities. Two of Pentacles. I have a victory card here. Victory and success. 
four of pentacles holding on to something the devil energy that's like some negative toxic stuff there and then the seven of pentacles this is like um reaping what you sow about to reap what you sowed investing in something long term I feel like this is definitely something between the light and the dark moment. Sorry, I had a I had a sneeze. Let me clarify. Or for some of you, this is actually like coming out of the dark. A dark place and coming into a light place. A place where you feel good. I feel like for many of you, you're very happy. You're very happy, especially if you're exploring these other um, cultures, lands, um, religions. Maybe this is part of some sort of study you're doing um, internationally. You're happy. You're happy. You're, you're appreciative of your life. And maybe looking at these other cultures and um, international things are making you appreciate your life, your food, your drink more. Um, this is really appreciating where you're at in your life, what life is about. Like, I just heard somebody say, my food has never tasted so good. My food has never tasted so good. And I just got the image of, you know, the Indiana Jones, uh, the Temple of Doom, where he's offered in this other land um, food, and it looks not so appealing if you're an American or you're in one of these, you know, Western societies. It, it doesn't really look so appealing, but Indiana Jones, he eats it anyway, but that girl that he was with, she was just like, mm, I don't want it, and he's like, you're going to offend these people. But I feel like you eat it, you're taking in this, not actually eating, but you're taking in this culture or this experience um, with pleasure. Uh, I feel like even if this is something that doesn't taste so good, you're happy about it. You are appreciative about it. I feel like what you're learning is, is really expanding who you are as a person i feel like for many of you this is like some sort of international studies some sort of um religious um like missionary work of some kind for the people i'm connecting with this is um it's very special what you're doing yeah look he's got the world in his hands it's the bottom of your deck this is like distance um, I feel like there is distance travel for some of you guys. I know it's hard in, in this in this situation with Corona, but there are people that are traveling. There are people that are going out. There are people that are planning. Justice card. Yeah, there's like there's balance coming in for you because you've had to juggle some things, but there's balance coming in. Again, balance. Um, and this is also balancing like your finances, like um, roles and responsibilities. And some of you might have had to work like two jobs or like shift work, or you've had to take on like, like these minute little jobs to make ends meet so you can keep going with your studies. So you can keep going in this international path that's making you so happy. Um, some of you guys actually might be like freelancers and working out there in the world while you're learning. And it's bringing you happiness. It's bringing you balance. This is something that the universe wants you to have too. Like, this is beautiful. This is, and look, it's because you've manifested this. You wanted this. This is something that you've, um, you've acquired skills for. 
And as you're out there, you're acquiring more skills that are going to help you in your life. It's like uh, protecting what is yours, protecting um, investments, um, having success in protecting what is yours. And I don't feel like this is actually material things. I feel like for you, this is protecting maybe yourself while you go through these lands, or this is protecting um, what's become special to you what's become important to you. I feel like you're adopting some of these practices and these cultures as you are learning. I feel like you've adopted something new and you're holding on to it. You're holding on because you see value in it. You see value in these new cultures, these new experiences. You see value and because you see value in it, you're protecting it. No matter what anyone has to say, what, <laughs> there's the card again on the bottom of the deck. You guys are, the, the people I'm connecting with are definitely out and about in the world. You guys are definitely out there traveling. You guys are definitely, or some of you are leaving this month. Some of you are going this month in January out and you guys are going to have the time of your lives. It's beautiful. Guys, I live in a country that's not my own, and I love it. <laughs> I, I actually love it, and I've come to appreciate a lot of things, too, um, that I never would have appreciated if I never stepped out of the box. So I can totally relate to this, and I'm just feeling just, like, absolutely just joy. Absolute joy, Cancer. Guys, leave me a, a comment. Let me know what's happening. Let me know if you guys are going to another country, you guys traveling, you guys have been out there traveling, you guys freelance. Tell me what's going on. I would love to know. Or if you guys are actually leaving to do so. Yeah, options. Having options and that's where this devil energy is coming in. I was kind of confused about it because it's something negative, but this could also be like temptation 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 with so many different decisions and options at this time let me yeah work i i was thinking like missionary work the missionary work and then i looked under and it says work um for some of you guys might be tempted to take something more stable and leave your post. Some of you might be getting some sort of job offer that um, would bring you back home, would bring, bring you back to your start. Or before you even leave, you might actually get a really good offer for a, to do something, but that would keep you from going out and going into other countries and having other cultural experiences and I feel like you would look like this if you pass it this this chance I feel like you would maybe be disappointed and wonder what if you have options you will have choices and you will have temptations that will come up and if you guys are on missionary work, you, this might be like tempted to, to leave your post where you're at, where you're helping people. Um, some of you guys are on voluntary missions where you guys are voluntarily in another country to educate. There might be a, something that might come up in January where you might have a temptation come up or Somebody might be giving you an offer to go back, to leave the people that you're helping. You guys have free will. You guys know that. You can do whatever you want. 
but I feel like for a majority of you, you would be disappointed if you did. Or you'd be disappointed if you never found out what it was like in that, in that country, if you never stepped foot out. Give me clarification on the Seven of Pentacles. For Cancer. Yeah. This is like mental imprisonment. But it came like right to that. This is like I'm having a clarity in this situation. And I feel like it's clear. I feel like you want to invest. I feel like you know like... um the the fruits of your labor are about are about to be revealed um your hard work is about to pay off and i feel like for a lot of you you know that you're you're not in your head about it anymore i feel like a lot of you are confidently moving on with this mission or with um your studies or with um taking the chance to go out i feel like that could be a little scary in these times with uh, the virus and the mu mutations of this virus and not knowing. But I feel like a lot of you are taking the chance. I feel like a lot of you guys are going. And I feel like it's going to be a lot of celebration around it. I really do. Yeah, something unexpected coming up. I feel like that's that. Let me clarify that. What is this thing that's unexpected might be popping up? It's a pleasant unexpected surprise, though. For cancer, please. For January. The tower. An unexpected change. I feel like that's the advice. I feel like no matter what unexpected change comes up, no matter what unexpected surprise comes up, no matter what, okay? I feel like there's like, remember like you, the clarity that you're getting. Remember um, the investment that you've made. Remember how happy this experience or the idea of this experience makes you. The balance that this brings to your life. Remember these things when this unexpected surprise comes in. Yeah, because look, <laughs> this venture is um, a, a wish that you wanted. It's something that you asked for. It's being granted to you. This is beautiful. I feel like there's going to be a lot of celebrating, especially if you guys are in missionary work or if you guys are being accepted into um, a foreign university. Um, yeah, I feel like there's going to be a lot to celebrate, a lot of newness, um, a lot of adopting of, of new things. And Cancer, it looks like the world is yours. I mean, that card came out twice with the man and with uh, the globe in his hand, that distance card, uh, the two of wands. Um, the world is yours. Even though we have like, these scary things out there that we're dealing with, I, I feel like a lot of you are going despite because a lot of you need this. A lot of you need this um, this big adventure, this life-changing adventure, this um, appreciation for something new, this education, this self-educating of what the world is like, what these cultures are like, and how you fit into this new puzzle. Because honestly, it's going to bring you into a new position into this world, okay? I hope this helps somebody out there. If this doesn't resonate, don't try to make it fit, okay? Um, look for your moon, your rising, your Venus signs. And uh, I will be trying to put out some singles uh, or love uh, directed messages, okay, in the near future. Um, I, will, I will see you on the next one, guys. And uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. And thank you.